everyone and welcome back to Lucidity's Toy Story. Happy Halloween! Today I am cosplaying as Princess Luna from My Little Pony because today we're going to be opening up these two pony sets. This one and this one. One of my cosmetic collection based on Knit Your Life. So I thought it would be suitable to put on my Princess Luna cosplay which you can see more of on my cosplay Instagram here. Comment below and tell me what you're going to be dressing up as for Halloween this year. I would love to know. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. So once again, this is what we're opening today. Let's take a look at both of them. Let's go ahead and open up this one first. So you can see me. <laughs> So this is the Moonlight Chariot. You can't really see it past the plastic, but this is a chariot with one bad pony as a night guard to pull it. And on the back, it's me, the best princess. So let's open this one first and then we'll look at this one later. It comes with this very pretty background. I think I might keep it. This is from when Ponyville was celebrating Nightmare Night. So here it is, out of the box. This is the plastic. Let's just pop it out. So here's the chariot. This is what it looks like. Jesus. I mean... Celestia. Me? Here's the chariot. It's very cute. I mean, I think it's cute because I'm Luna, <laughs> but like, so it is very plush red inside, I and mean, it doesn't feel plush, it's just supposed to look plush. And here are the reins, I think they connect down here, just pop it in. And then there's the night guard, here he is. So this is a bat pony, his wings are very flexible. I'm pretty sure his clothing can be removed, let's try. So there's a little button at the front. And just pop open and this little helmet pops out for the back as well so here he is without his armor on he has no cutie mark maybe bat ponies don't have cutie marks let's put his armor back on and attach him to the chariot i can't figure out how it went on why are my guards not doing this for me okay i managed to get it on by myself and then we can have them pull the cart this should just attach here are some holes so they'll just attach right here and on the other side now he could fly it or he could just drag it along now I don't have a Luna figure to put in here yes I'm just so popular you know I just I sold out everywhere anyway <laughs> But I do have this. I guess this kind of fits. Oops. She's a lot larger than this guy. I'll find something. Hold on. So as it works out, only my sister was available. Isn't that just a coincidence? So you can just put the pony in the chariot, and off you go. Straight into the nearest star. Alright, moving on. Now let's open the second set. So this is the sweet cart. It has Applejack and her little sweet cart that she had during Halloween. I mean, Nightmare Night. <laughs> What's Halloween? So here she is on the back as well in her scarecrow costume. Let's open it up. So here it is. This set has a lot more pieces than the last set. So let's be careful not to lose any. Every pony run for me. <laughs> all right, so here it is. These are all the pieces that come with it. There are these two hanging little cupcakes. I'm not sure how they hang cupcakes and why. There's two more over here. They're blue. And this should attach to the top, I'm assuming. It has a spooky little cupcake. And this jack-o'-lantern. I wonder who creates these cards for Applejack. Maybe Verity. 
here are two more cupcakes. These are blue ones. One more, mm, yeah, blue. And inside the cart, we have two buckets of candy. There's a rounded divot so that they can just sit in there. Here are the buckets. I like how they made the buckets different instead of just, you know, copy and pasting. Like Hasbro often does. So they just go right in there. Let's put the cupcakes in there as well so that we don't lose them. They didn't really have a specific place to go. And over here we have Applejack. She's in her scarecrow costume. Here's her hat. Take a closer look. She has a very dynamic pose with her tail flinging out and her spooked eyes. So she does have her cutie mark, but only on one side. She looks very cute even without her costume on. So if it wasn't Nightmare Night, then you could easily just take it off and display her like that. I don't really remember what Rarity's costume was in this episode. It was a very long time ago, wasn't it? Wasn't it like season two? And now it's over? Oh my gosh. Oh, we're never gonna have another Nightmare Night. See, here she is with her cart. It has two handles, but they're not like to pull of it. So she could just stand here with it. Let's take out my entire Nightmare Night collection and see what they all look like together. So here's my entire Nightmare Night collection. I'm only missing three figures. I'm missing me. I'm missing Derpy Hooves. And I'm also missing Mare Mare. Um, I do actually have her, but she's like under my bed and I can't be bothered to try and get her out while I'm wearing this. So everything looks so wonderful together. These pieces are the ones we opened today, minus Twilight. <laughs> so now it's time for Scape Stars. Scape Stars are my rating system where I rate five important categories out of five stars to see how good this toy really is. The categories are S for specialty, C for collectability, A for action, P for price, and E for entertainment. I'm back and I calculated all the escape stars. For S, for specialness, I decided to give these guys a 4.5. Now it's not unusual for any toy brand to have little figures and sets. That's very normal for most cartoons, I would say. You know, they would have toy sets like this. So it's quite normal to me. But I wanted to give these a very high score because it's very show accurate. That's a little bit unusual for toy brands when they're copying something. It's very often they would be bright. Even with ponies we have lots of bright colors that don't match the show. But these they tried very hard to match it to the show for us bronies I imagine. So I'm very happy that they did that. For C for collectability I gave these a 5. I find these to be very very collectible. Like see as you can see I have my entire collection here. And they all look so good together, they're all so cute, and they all match each other. And there's so many different ones to collect. So the Friendship is Magic collection has multiple collections. So this is the Nightmare Night collection, and it looks so good. So I think this is very collectible. You can do it piece by piece, you don't have to get everything at once. You get the treehouse, you get the cherry, you get this, you get the figures. For A, for action, I gave these a 4.5. Oh, there's a little trouble getting their clothes off which, you know, whatever. And these things keep popping off of him, so yeah, I can't give him full. For P for price, I gave these four. Now these two sets that we opened today were 65 ringgit each. I'm not sure if that's the usual price that they go for in this country, because, man, it took me a long time to find these. I mean, how old are these? It was very hard to find these. I only just found them recently. So 65 ringgit is about, let me think, it's like $16 each. Um, I guess that doesn't sound too bad when it's in dollar, but 65 is pricey. Now these are relatively small sets, and this one particularly doesn't come with much. So I feel like that is quite pricey. And finally, for E for entertainment, I gave these a 4.5 as well. 
because they are very entertaining. They're very cute. You can have a lot of fun with these. I remember when I was a child, I would play with the Generation 3 pony toys. And they were this size, and I, I love them so much. I've heard so many stories of them. And I was so, so happy when My Little Pony Generation 4 came out with these little ones because they reminded me so much of the ones I had when I was a kid. And if you want to see a video about those, I can bring them out and show you guys. So comment below and let me know. I didn't give them full five because if you buy them separately, like this one alone, it only comes with this pony and a chariot. Who's going to drag the chariot? Who's going to be in the chariot? So that becomes a problem. You can't just have one. So in total, they got 4.6 escape stars. That's pretty high. I really like these sets. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more toy opening cosplay videos, please let me know, like this video, and comment below, and subscribe so that you will be able to see them when they come out. My Coraline video did so well, and I'm so happy about it. So, say well, my little ponies. I should have won. I look a lot more like her than I look like Luna. Did you know Luna?